when is it that it's going to be the worst case? I don't want equations because I can't remember equations. When I go out of the world, I can't remember <coughs> equations. The equations only let me think. But the equations are related to some phenomena. When, why was this the best case? Because there's no variability. Because of no variability and because of the fact that, watch this. I give it to you, you give it to you, you give it to you, but you, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Nothing time. ever stops. And never, it stops because, look at this, two minutes, two, or what was it, two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours. How many places do you know that has two hours, two hours, two hours? How many places do you say, I'm doing nothing but waiting for you to give me a part? How many places tells me that there is no variability? Those three characteristics are to some extent like saying, I don't know, you look like, I don't know, Brad Pitt or Angelina Jolene or whoever it is. I can't. Not possible unless I can create an environment with robots, but not with human beings. Those are the characteristics. If I take every one of those assumptions away and I say, I don't care what you're doing, here it is. And I throw a lot of stuff at Jeremy. Jeremy is doing nothing, 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 nothing. All of a sudden I say, Jeremy, here's 10,000 papers. That's a bad idea. But you do that, I mean, you meaning all of us. So I'm not saying you, because I do that. You do that with the people that you work every day. Don't you? I think I'm done with these 12 reports. And he says, hello, here's 12 reports. If I create that environment, I create variability, I create an unbalanced look through this, what do I then have? Probably, probably, to some extent, the worst case. Now, do you behave more like the best case, or do you behave more like the worst case? Do you care about what you give to your customer or the next person in line? Yes or no? Be honest. Yes. Really? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> It is not because you say so, it is by your behavior. You don't even know the other person other than, I think it's Sally. Sally works here, she's been here for five years. What does Sally do? I don't know. <coughs> How many kids does Sally have? I don't know. Where did she come from? I don't know. And if you have never known that individual, how can you tell me that you care about that individual? You have to know somebody to care. And how many people in that routing do you actually know? So if you've not known it, what's one, and you don't care about people you don't know, how can you say that you actually care about how you impact their work? I care about your reputation. Whose reputation? Yours. Who cares about my reputation? Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, 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 mean, I do. Right. <laughs> but it is not in my control. My reputation is based on every day behaving well. And the reputation hopefully will take care of itself. Reputation is not what you design. It is a consequence of your behavior every single moment. But if your behavior is not there, then how is your reputation impacted? So the point I'm trying to get is to show you opportunities for improvement, not to say that we're all messed up. We're, we're all messed up. It's not like any individual here is messed up. We're all messed up, okay? 
do you feel that if I showed you those three characters, variability, Jeremy, here's 20,000 things. An imbalanced line. I could say that if I had those three characteristics, I could have, and we'll, we'll come back because we don't have time. Where'd he go? There you go. Ooh. I have that. Now, can this be calculated? The answer is yes. Now, again, any calculation that do I do mathematically does not mean that it is the end all, it is my guideline to guide me to think. So where are you at Y12? Here or here? This is not, it, it, I mean, don't, I mean, you can always come back and say, what, what, what are you doing at UT? It's, it's about the same. So it's, we're not talking and picking on you all of us are doing this, okay? And then, if you are closer to this than to this, what is the amount of additional resources that you're putting in the system that is not currently required to get the same through? What percent of your budget now, this is mean, but it is to get to thinking, okay? I know that, what is it? I know Oak Ridge's budget, or Nell's budget, right? I don't know why 12's budget. This is, it's, each of these is over a billion, or close to a billion. How much of that is waste? For the first time, we have used the word waste. The closer, this is perfection. I can never get here. But the closer I get to that line, the less the cost of doing business. And if you're telling me that we're not here, well, we're somewhere here. I'm saying to you, what of the billion dollar budget is wasted? About 8%. Huh? <laughs> this, did I hear 80%? <laughs> did you just say 80? No, it's not 80%. No, no. <laughs> I don't think so. We don't. We don't want to sound too bad. I mean, we want to go to sleep at night. All right? Tell me, what percent? We don't know. I mean, nobody's actually sat down and calculated. If it's even twenty percent, or thirty percent, or ten percent, or fifty percent, that is a significant amount of money that we are unaware of that we can use for better purposes, to produce better widgets, to do more research at or to produce Sharpies that we don't give away. <laughs> but that's much easier said than done, okay? Even the tools that we give you are not sufficient. What it does is to provide the platform, the awareness, the principles, the tools, the approach on being aware because if each of you carries this with you, it is not this equation that's going to make a difference. It is you who is now aware of this is going to make a difference. And you're going to tell two other people and you're going to tell five other people and you're going to tell ten other people and you're going to tell at six people and by that we start building a culture at each of these that is not perfect, we don't expect perfection, but is a little bit more aware. And if it is a little bit more aware and we can take away 3% of the waste, that's 3% of the waste. Are we all okay? Is this, okay, and then one more graph I wanna show you because we're gonna come back and explain this to you. Where'd it go? Practical worst case. I don't know what that is. Only Enrique knows that. It's top secret. Enrique, we're going to come back and explain this. What if we had this? Worst case? Best case. <coughs> Practical worst case. Between this and this, we can to some extent say not so good. Here to here, we can say fairly good. What if we could build that understanding 
of the processes that you look for. Now, we have the ability to articulate and talk about how to improve this. Are we okay? Now, question for you, because we have just have two minutes or three minutes. I want to give you a break so that when Dr. Garcia comes in, you have had a break before he starts, because I know he comes in and says, I think he told Dr. Kress, I need to give you a watch or a clock or something like that. Mm -hmm. Is this what you're expecting out of this class? Is anybody somewhat disappointed? All right. The ability to build this to a point that you have awareness, you have the principles, you have the approach, and you have the tools. And then show that in your uh, project for this class to show that you have understood some version of that and you take and take a process and modify that particular process is what my expectation is. Right? I can work with you on how many exams I want to give, what we want to give. I'm not being so strict uh, because Enrique can tell you that the undergraduate class has a different impression of us, right? <coughs> because they are young, they do not know what it is to be a professional. They're learning in that process. So we are very strict. They cannot miss, miss a class. They cannot be looking at cell phones. They cannot be doing this. They have to have everything done by perfection. And here we're treating it because we're all adults. And therefore we have gone through the process. And so what I am going to do is to work with you. My primary focus is that, that end case study. How I get you to learn that material is open to our discussion. My intention at this moment is to give you some, an exam or two, uh, to let you see how much you know, all right? Uh, and then over a period of time, my expectation is that if I'm giving you a reading assignment, which is now chapter seven, if you would please read that so that next time you come in and bring in the material so that as we give you something to do, uh, you bring it in so that will give you, because it's very hard to learn by listening to somebody. I said, for me, I have to actually sit down and do something on a piece of paper to say, ah, that's what that meant. Are we okay? All right, let's take a break. Uh, please send me, for those that are intent to work with Mark, don't send me anything. Just say, you know, working with Mark, okay? For those that are, have not done that, uh, please, whenever you vet 